And then we are going to talk about this quickly. This is a clip of, I guess this is meant to be on, whose podcast is this? Might be Steve Burns podcast, which is funny because if I'm not mistaken, isn't Steve Byrne meant to be one of like Brian Callen's good friends? When Brian Callen was getting accused of rape, I'm pretty sure he did a podcast with Steve Byrne for a bit or whatever, or some shows, something. He might have been one of the only comics in LA who kind of stood up for Brian Callen at that time. So it's weird to hear him say this stuff. But I think ever since what happened with Tiger Bell has gone down, it feels like all comedians have have got like a free pass to say what they want about this, about Brendan in general or Brian in general, because it looks like Joe Rogan's basically, you know, removed his protection um, shield from them or whatnot. But I thought this is a very interesting observation from these guys regarding um, Brendan and his special and just, you know, maybe his lack of real friends around him who maybe could have helped him out in terms of telling him not to put it out. But yeah, here's a clip. Some people failed him. You know, <laughs> no, I mean, true. No, no, I mean, yeah, in, a, in, a, in a good way. If I was like his friend, I'd be like, I don't know, I don't know if that's Is that ready. ready? You know, like, yeah, that's all. I, mean, oh, I wasn't ready. Special TV. You know what I mean? Like, I know, yeah. If that ever happened to me, I would be mortified, and I'd be like, Why didn't anyone say? Why did somebody? Why did they set me up for this? Right, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. And, and not to be, not to dig on, but like Brendan Schaub, that's always been the critique on him when he did that hour. You special. don't have real friends is the critique, or they would have told you. I've heard that multiple <laughs> times, yeah. by the way, multiple times, and I think you either overruled them or didn't ask them. I or they get couldn't it, tell I'm, a, I'm a shit. But the funny thing is with that, one of the other things is. Just make a quick comment here. Look at how, again, I know I'm reading too much into it, but look at the body language of this guy here in the end. Look at how he's clasping his hands close to his chest in a vulnerable pose. People are really nervous about making comments regarding Brendan and Brian and those guys because of how close they are to Joe Rogan. And it's really, really dumb, isn't it? Really weird. I don't understand it. Like, it's not that like they're saying anything bad about him as a person. I don't think anyone has come out so far who has kind of spoken to Brendan or been friends with him in a personal way, has come out and said he's a bad person. They all say he's a good guy, but his comedy sucks for whatever reason. Obviously, people that have crossed paths with him in terms of a combative way, you know, the the Ariels, the Annie Liedermans, the Kalilas, the Bobbies, they probably don't have anything good to say about him as a person, but most people I've heard just say he's a decent dude, but his comedy sucks. But they're so afraid to say it because they don't want to be blacklisted or, you know, be in the bad, in the non-good graces of Joe Rogan, they kind of shy away from it. And I think this guy's body language here says everything you need to know about it. It's just really weird. So it aired, and yep. then they tried to take it down off, off the, the internet. internet. Right, and the internet reacts to that in an angry manner. The internet no, no, has no, an no, orgasm, no, no, no. says yeah. you cannot delete our food. And yeah. so then it got pushed way higher. That's if right, they yeah. didn't try to scrub it, it yeah. would have been like, oh, I didn't know, I didn't see it. That's why you can't scrub the Sal meme. It's got to stay up. <laughs> they will find it. You know? There are no uh, quilts of him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll tell you I that. wonder how long that takes. That one takes to shake. Like that. That would. That would hurt. I me think bad. when you're parachuting in Deadpool too, <laughs> yeah. I think you're like, nah, I think. I'm yeah, that's true. Right. <laughs> so he's done very well. Yeah, you see, this is the thing that I think I don't agree with what they said because they said, oh, he doesn't have any real friends. I, if you if you've been paying attention, because I'm that's the thing. I've I'm actually a former The Fire and the Kid fan. I was a big fan of those guys when they started on Fox, um, when they had Evan the Beard on, when they had Special K as their producer. Like, that show was fun. That show was really silly. That's when they used to do the whole Silly Goose Time, Big Dick Bandits. Like, they were legitimately funny. They'd get on that show every single week and they tried to make each other laugh, make Evan the Beard laugh, make Special K laugh. Like, they, look, you could even tell us even the older episodes, especially when Special K was on, because she's a bit of a, you know, she's a hot lady and you know Brian Callen clearly you know um, has never seen a girl that he's not interested in he would be coming with the funnies every single episode coming you know a uh, little slip there but he would be coming with the funnies every single episode trying to get her to laugh and trying to get Evan to laugh too it was really 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 funny and one of the things that you realized back in the day or that I remember was that when Brandon did end up taking the Showtime special that's when I feel like the energy changed between but both of them and just the show overall. But then if you remember listening to the Friday Kid from back then, 
Brendan started selling tickets really quickly. He started selling out places. Like he'd go to places, he'd go on tour. He'd sell out here, he'd sell out there. Crazy comedy venues, right? That most people don't get to sell out. And obviously Brian at that time, even though he's really funny, he wasn't selling much tickets. And that really gave Brendan an ego. He thought maybe because he was selling tickets that that meant he was a good comic. When clearly it wasn't it was because he was really famous, right? He was really famous in his podcast niche, in his UFC niche, whatever it may be. And people wanted to see him the first time around. Like all famous people that do stand up, the first time people want to see you but then after a few times if you're shit no one sees you again so that early buzz got to his head that i think that also might have coincided with the whole mtv or no with the e-channel thing that he was doing he was doing a lot of hollywood stuff and it dyeing his hair moving around wearing loads of cool clothes bloody blah 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 around that time he also got a showtime special and i felt like when he got a showtime special Clearly, there was a disconnect between the both of them, Brendan and Brian. And then I remember one episode specifically where the feedback, obviously, from You'd Be Surprised wasn't good because um, it was a horrible special, especially for an hour. It was a flipping brutal. It was basically Gringo pa Pappy stressed out an hour with better production, but it was terrible, terrible special. And if I remember correctly, um, Brian said quite clearly that he told... No, I think it was a later episode. He told Brendan... That he didn't, he didn't think it was a good idea, good idea for him to do it, but Brendan didn't listen to him because he thought Brian was jealous. Do you get that? So Brian Callan, his closest friend, the guy he starts the podcast with, the guy who Brendan credits for basically giving him the inspiration to start doing stand up because he made him go out on stage and do five minutes before the show. You know the standard flipping story they always tell. He told him, "Hey, I don't think it's a good idea. You should do a stand up special with Showtime." two years or one and a half years in because it's not going to be good and brendan ignored him or brendan refused to listen because he felt like he was jealous because he was more successful than him and then if i remember as well when brendan went on joe rogan after you'd be surprised came out joe rogan was really kind of um was kind of going out of his way not to say anything bad, but also he wasn't there saying anything good about you. He's surprised. He just, I remember him saying something like, oh, don't worry, man, you're going to go again and, and next time, right? And I remember him saying then that around the same time too, that he felt, no, maybe it's this recent episode, actually. He said in a recent episode, he must have said something like, oh, he didn't think it was a good idea for him to do this first special, but he didn't want to tell him because he felt like, I stopped you from doing MMA by doing that podcast, which he always has regretted. I think, you know, Joe, he regrets probably how that went down. He didn't want to, like, tell him to stop doing another thing again. Do you know what I mean? He just wanted to kind of leave it there. So Brendan does have good friends around him, but he doesn't listen. If he doesn't listen to people like Kalila and Bobby Lee, you tell him in front of his face that he's bullying, you know, he's bullying them with the things that he was doing, what makes you think he's going to be listening to anybody else? Do you know what I mean? And that was in a combative nature. So I don't think it's that he doesn't have friends. I just think he doesn't listen to them at all. And the friends that he does have, he pays them. So if somebody pays you to hang around, you're unlikely to tell them, you know, the harsh reality. You're, you're most likely just going to try and um, keep it to yourself so that you can keep getting paid. So I, I, <laughs> I'll keep it there. <laughs> describe bullying every time i see that line i laugh to myself and honestly that guy is an absolute genius describe bullying you know imagine someone saying that to you describe bullying <laughs>